Welcome to the Empire of this Rampant, and welcome back to my Leon Leonco campaign for the Old World mod for Warhammer 3, where we're going to continue to live from last time. Where at this point in time, we have been able to now finally push on in through Musulan and claim the castle of Musulan at this point in time. So now we just need to keep trying to push on in and finish off the Red Duke today. That's going to be our main goal um, at this point in time, as they have these three territories over here, this little island over here, and then just the one little city that's right next to me, which doesn't have a garrison. If I could move in there, I would gladly take it this turn, but I'm not able to. I did have a couple other name suggestions, uh, mainly just for heroes, actually. Uh, there's some that were given for when I confederate uh, Rapunz. Uh, we got, like, Big Hank is one, and then also um, La Hira, uh, Hira, it's basically, uh, it's supposed to be a reference to uh, a companion of Joan of Arc, actually, which is kind of cool. Um, so we got that, but also, uh, we have to have this, and I think I'm going to have it so, uh, Roland. Yes. Roland. I will have you be the one that is renamed to this. As, uh, obviously we have to have a King Arthur. So I'll have you be King Arthur. And then, uh, I want to try and have it so that we will get a, uh, a damsel, so you have a mage, um, that will be Merlin. Not technically Merlin's a dude, but there are other instances where we can have it so they're a chick. Especially, it's fine. So that we can have a mage in this army. So I'll have you keep making your way over here, grouping up with the other guys. Uh, Goshrich and Felix I have for another 13 turns right now. I know you guys are grouping up. It was actually suggested that um, the extra paladin, I think, actually should go into Gottfried's army. Gottfried's army. So I'll put you into the, his army. Um, I still can't get a damsel just yet. I know my economy is starting to do better. My economy is doing way better now. We're starting to build things up. And I will eventually be able to get damsels. I know you guys are trying to upgrade my cav right here. Um, I think I'm going to grab this first, though, to try and upgrade the port next for you guys. And then, what else can I grab? I can get you guys. The Air Public Order is going up. I will want to grab, just get the more growth for right now so we can get this to level 3. And then I have a commandment available for Musulan itself. Um, I would say... Maybe we need to get rid of that corruption. So let's go with the control one for right now. We'll probably switch it over to something else uh, later. Uh, especially I want to be able to make sure we keep focusing on the research ones so we can get my research really pumping. Um, I know we're about to finish this. This I'm not going to actually be able to confederate anybody with that, but that should just give me more uh, chivalry when we finish it. Then I can go confederate you guys, which is uh, this group right here. And then where is her pawns on this? Because I'm, I'm going to be trying to confederate her at some point. Um, she is... Yep, it is right there. So, technically... <laughs> I don't know why, what's the point of this. It gives me one relation with Musulan. It at least gives me more chivalry, so we'll probably go down that. I don't have the mo mo uh, most money right now um, to be able to get some of these other things. I might get the stuff for better, better farm income, though. That's not bad. So I think we can get this, then we'll start focusing on a little bit more of my economic research. But for right now, we just need to pass the turn along and see what's going to happen with the Red Duke. Because uh, at this point in time, like you've got like nothing over here. You might recruit some guys because of how many men died around here. But also, I'm going to hope they don't. So they're actually backing off. Beautiful. Uh, it does look like the Red Duke is making his way towards me. Do I have enough movement to maybe hit him? He is in Force March Standstill. Um, but, you know, so we finished that research. Now let's start this one. Um, and it looks like I just get the only 100 shift work, which is okay. Um, but let's see. Do I have enough movement? I... I do, just barely with you. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Gotcha, you can feel it. Could you guys finish that soul yourself? True knight of Bretonia. I think what we're gonna do, because let's see, so... I can try and have it so that you guys, for right now, go here. Lord and and right here. Here. And then I'm going to have you keep trying to make your way over here to group up with them. So you keep trying to make your way over this way. And same with you. I could try and hit them with uh, Gotrick and Felix, but I think we should wait. Gives me more time to try and gather more of you guys together. Uh, Leon Kerr, though, I would say. Let's see. Let's go deal with you guys here. The other army is not even in range. I think because of the fact that I did so much damage to you guys last time, I will let this be an auto resolve. We don't have to fight this ourselves. Basically, whenever I want to just finish an army off, I will let us do an, uh, an auto resolve. Although it's in the open field, now we can we can at least showcase uh, the uh, cinematic view of this, I guess. So we'll take these guys out quickly. Then um, I'll, I'll finish off that other army over to the east, because th those guys I can just auto-resolve through. Then we can start turning back around, focusing on uh, going up. Oh, no, actually, I won't be able to hit those guys this turn because of the fact me taking the city means I won't be able to, I won't have any movement. That's fine. 
basically we just need more time to build up my forces um, and uh, build up my economy because my economy is starting to do better. I really appreciate how it is, um, although I'm going to hurt that with the fact that I'm going to eventually be replacing some of the units in this army with uh, better units, which will just cost more. But once we have uh, Musulon out of the way, basically what I'm going to be doing is we need to still keep trying to uh, focus on getting more of the factions around me confederated. And it looks like at the moment uh, Pestilence would probably be the next faction we're going to be going after uh, after these guys. Seeing as how they have been doing a little bit of damage to the, in the south. I feel like the Skaven will actually be a pretty big threat to us. And I, I know I talked about this in the, and it was brought up in a comment too. That uh, a Crusade in the Norska doesn't sound that bad. It would kind of be interesting to have that be like one of the final things we possibly do. Because I just know in this campaign, there's so many good guy factions. It, it's going to be hard to find people that are like gonna actually want to fight us yeah let's get uh leonco grouped on up in here uh get you you guys paladin and my other cav and then i'll have actually you guys be with my pegasus knights then we can have uh my mounted yeoman you guys honestly just kind of be like up in front of them you can get, just get some good shots like right now immediately all of you guys are worthless i guess i can give you over to this army yeah i guess i don't really need you but sure um we'll do that Get you guys here get you guys here everybody but this group have guard mode off that way i can just have you guys charge on in to destroy our forces also i need to actually like showcase a good like close up more of leon Kerr on his mount does his mount actually have a proper name i never checked that He's just taking a circle uh, flying cap. i know like uh carl france's death claw and that's what his actual name is but i'll start this so I'll start the battle lord is technically this poor bastard yeah, I'll just get you guys to start charging on in here. There you go. And then Mounted Yeoman, just stay at a distance. Do some damage. Uh, you guys are supposed to charge forward. Same with you. But there we go. We get to watch the carnage as you guys say, uh, fly on in. I do. I can't wait until I have all like these guys. I will have some dismounted units, but I can't wait until like half of my army is going to be just like flying... Uh, Royal Hippogriff Knights. I need to make sure I showcase more of your skill. I just love this game. It does look beautiful. Although, a little terrible at times. Let's see, that's you guys. Let's see. Hey, you guys are just chilling. You can keep moving up. I don't even think you'll be able to get over here in time. Because my cav has already done a, a ridiculous amount of damage to them. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous amount of damage over there. The, um... Let's see. You guys can try and keep rotating. I don't think it's even necessary. Yeah, they're, they're crumbling away at this point. Yeah, this is the thing about me. We want to make sure I keep showcasing more cinematic stuff. Like, I don't know if you guys mind it or not. Like, some of these battles, I definitely don't need to fight. It's just kind of nice every once in a while I have a little bit of a break from just focusing on just the campaign map to get a little bit more of a cinematic view so that even if, yeah, we don't need to fight this battle, it just looks cool to fight it ourselves. Also guarantees we take literally no damage as I lost 14 guys and that's it. I don't even know how I lost 14 guys, honestly. But there we go. Now we'll be able to claim the last city they have down around here. That little army they have. Uh, it does look like it's already kind of crumbling away. It's taking attrition at least. So I think I might be able to ignore them, possibly. It looks like we'll possibly have the Red Duke uh, uh, being attacked by um, Gotrick and Velix. And then I'll probably turn around next turn. Uh, that is if the other ar that army that's running away from us stays running away from us. If they, if they stay around this area, I'll probably want to deal with them first, then start making my way up. Um, I'll probably go for uh, up along the coast first. I feel like we'll leave that uh, island alone until the very end with uh, the forces of Muslan. Yeah, so now we can just occupy this area. Oh, there's some chaos corruption around here. Um, let's get rid of you. I don't want that around here. Yeah, you're taking some damage. If you're still around here by next turn, I'm going to finish you off. So at the moment, though, I do I need you. Uh, I want you to keep being my scout. So I want you to keep kind of scouting down around over here, see how things are doing. And then... Just to see how you guys are doing around over there. Since I'm now getting more vision. I know I'm probably going to have to also want to fight the uh, wood elves at some point. Because it looks like uh, that is some more vampire counts down there. Wood elves... Uh, oh, there's actually some stuff going on with the dwarves around there, too. Interesting. I do wonder, Ponce, are you at war with the Red Duke? No, you aren't. Shadow, you're still at war with Shadowgrave, so he's still alive. I thought he was dead. 
No, so he's, he's got to be wandering around somewhere. And, like, you'll be able to... He's probably, like, maybe hiding over here somewhere where I just can't see him right now. Other than that right now. Uh, yeah, you guys are just chilling here. Building-wise. Um, let's see. I don't think I need to build that just right now. I want to try and focus on my main regions. So, like, going back up here. Um, yeah, you guys are public order is going up. I would say we can upgrade that. And then it's just a skill point now. To your which, uh, definitely get Arcane Conduit. Get Arcane Conduit around there, which would be great. Marienburg is dead. Was that, uh, were you guys killed by, uh, what were you killed by? Was it those elves? Yeah, those elves killed you. I find that kind of interesting. Oh, I do want that port at some point. I might actually fight those elves at some point, possibly. I almost might, I almost want that land for myself. And there is some Bretonian land already over there. Oh, it's tempting. Um, okay. So for right now, uh, I don't know where that one force went. Also, because there's chaos corruption down here, I feel like Shadow Grip actually might be around down here, actually. Um, Jerome, keep trying to scout down around over here. Keep making your way down. Let's see, those are some... Yeah, there's more Bretonians. There's so many Bretonians around here. Um, let's see. So the Red Duke's still chilling there. He's now just raiding. He would be able to run now if I tried to attack him. Um, well, I can grab you. You can go into Godfrey's open now. And then we're still waiting on King Arthur to join us here. So King Arthur is still making his way on over. Um, I do think... Let's see. We won't take any attrition because of that. Now. I'm going to try and have it so... Let's sit in ambush things. We're going to start moving forward. We're going to try and make it so we can see if we can ambush the Red Duke. So we'll try and kind of walk up towards him. Go like down there, there. Yes. So I don't think I have enough out. movement to hit him, do I? Valiant Lord. Well, the issue is he's going to run. He's Old going to Sarah. run for sure. Oh, actually, unless he thinks he's strong enough. Because I can do this. If I have enough movement for this. It's like right there. Lord of Bretonia. Uh, right about there. And then, gotcha, Don't Felix, if I have you guys shot. lead the assault, they might still think that they're strong enough that they don't have to run. No, they are not going to run. Okay, so we will fight this ourselves because of the fact that like, it's just so many skeletons. The Red Duke's the only real problem here um, out of all of these troops. But, hey, I've now got a new paladin joining on in with us as well, so I think we'll be okay. So let's get on in here, defeat the Red Duke. And then I'll have uh, these armies still... Uh, I'll have them basically start making their way over to the west. Start trying to push on in to the northern sections of what Musalon controls. And uh, I will then have um, Lankur hit from the south. So we are definitely going to finish off Musalon today. There, There's no way in hell they'll survive. And now what we just got to do is we just got to wait for you guys to get over here. Because as soon as I get my reinforcements, I can easily advance on you guys. For right now, they're not advancing on me, which I'm okay with. Because it's about a minute, yeah, about a minute for both of you guys. I think, if I remember correctly, the Paladin is also mounted, so he'll be able to get over here pretty quickly for us. I can't remember if he has a, any abilities right now that will really benefit us for trying to push on into this force. Basically, what we need to do is we're just going to, again, focus on trying to kill the Red Duke off as soon as possible. And then the rest of his army is not going to be hard. If there was more Great Guard in here, or any monster units, then maybe it'd be a problem. Let's see, are you mounted? Yeah, you guys are both mounted. Hell yeah. So let's get you guys all grouped up. He doesn't have any abilities on him right now, but let's get you guys to start trying to make your way forward. I'm trying to have my Caval group up, and then you guys will join on in as soon as we've engaged the Red Duke. I do just love the look of five guys, literally just five dudes, going after an army of undead like this. Like, it's a that's a huge power fantasy. It feels great. We have to get Gotrick and Felix in here. Get my Cav in here as well. I'm going to have you guys kind of just charge through the Skeleton Warriors and then try and hit the Red Duke after that. Because, oh, actually, they've got a little bit of a, a space. Hell yeah. Yep, make some space for us. Charge the Red Duke. There you go. How's it going, dude? We just have three dudes just all hit you at once. And then Godric and Felix need to get over here as well to start helping out. Although they might distract you from being able to get over there. If anything, I'll be able to have you guys try and focus down the Red Duke. Because all three of you together should be able to beat him. I hope you guys start boosting up yourselves. Actually, fuck, I should put that onto one of my paladins. That's fine. Yeah, you guys keep fighting around here. Just keep fighting those guys. Because the Red Duke is taking damage from my guys. Again, focus on the Red Duke. Don't focus on the units around him. 
At least he's not mounted right now, because I know he can actually have a pretty nice mount for himself. You know, you guys are taking a little bit of damage. But with the three of you, I think you'll be able to win against the Red Duke. Yeah, you guys are a little stuck back here, but you're doing what you can. I really need that damsel in here for, uh, to, like, with the King Arthur. I'm trying to help you guys out. Because if we can get a, uh, if we can get some sort of caster in here, these blobs will be so much easier to deal with. Let's see, is he regening? Oh, he is trying to regen. Yeah, he's losing. He is losing to my three dudes. They don't have their entire army fighting us just yet, which I'm pretty okay with. You guys might just hit heal cap. Now keep focusing the Red Duke. Yeah, keep focusing him down. Uh, I think I can see his heal cap thing starting to pop up soon, so... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so he's almost hit heal cap. And then once we can, I'll be making my way back over to try and get some health back from being around Gotrick and Felix. Okay, he is just about hit heal cap. Yeah, he's just about to die. Come on, finish him off. There we go. Red Duke is down. Okay. Let's now get my Cav. Let's group you guys back up with the rest of the army. Uh, and then we can have it so you guys can start trying to get some regen back. They've already taken a pretty good hit there for their morale. But yeah, if we go back over here, regroup with everybody. And then uh, now you guys should start regening. I'll put the damage resistance on you guys right now. So that you can start trying to take a little bit less damage. And you should be healing up. Uh, yeah, you're the one getting some healing right now, and you are getting some healing right now. So it's just not going to this guy right now. That's fine. That's fine. Now you guys just need to wade through all of their forces. Which, I don't think you'll have a bit of an issue, because of the fact that at this point in time, their morale's already pretty bad uh, for some of them, and they're already starting to falter. I, I forgot that Paladins give out the, uh, the Guardian ability, so you guys actually do have even more physical resistance while you're in this giant-ass blob. I love that. Yeah, so we just need to keep trying to use our abilities on cooldown. I mean, slow this down so we can appreciate the carnage a little bit more. Because you guys right there, fighting off. We got standing back to back. Where's, uh, where's Gotrick? I thought I saw him over here somewhere. I see, the, I see my cab units. I see my guys. And then I see Felix is around here, too. Where the hell's Gotrick? Am I just blind? I can't see the little the, the man. Oh, there he is. There you are. Yeah, you guys are making short work of these guys. And you've almost healed up all, all the way back up to full now. And there we go. They finally hit army losses and just all crumbled away. God, I love this army. If anything, all this is like a great way to like level up some of my units and heroes because Godric and Felix just keep supporting them so much that they can just, hey, you guys get to heal. Uh, just passive healing. Like that's just such a hard trait to get. And it always makes the Lord so much stronger when they can get that ability. So now at this point in time, you guys have done some good damage. Now we can have it so we'll start trying to make my way towards the other cities that are under the control of the Red Duke and Musulon. I am curious if there's a defeat trait for the Red Duke. I don't think so. I, I'm always trying to remember because I know with some of the mods I use with my, my friend, um, people like the Red Duke and other people that are kind of pseudo-legendary lords uh, do give out traits in the mods I use. So I'm always trying to remember, like, who the fuck does and does not give traits right now sometimes? Um, I think it would be nice if he does give one, but I don't think he does. So we'll just have to keep having it, so we'll keep focusing on taking out the northern settlements with these guys. Let's see, so he did survive. Um, let's grab the unit experience. That, it only affects the units, not the lords, does it? I have plenty of chivalry. Get the extra no, cash. Let's see, so he's going to run, but like... Test me at your peril. Do I have enough movement to hit him? Great no, I don't. I'll keep chasing him, though. Blessings of the lady be upon you try and chase him. Did get a rank up here My for Valentine. Um, let's see. Giving you some more charge bonus would not be bad. I will give you some more armor for right now. Lord. And I can get Foe Seeker. Oh, actually, I already did that. That's fine. Um, you get Blade Master here and then some defense for yourself. Leonker. Um, how much do we want to give Leonker? I think I will have you keep upgrading this so that my, my cab in your army is also stronger. So we can do that. Leonker himself. Um... Ah, Gotrick finished one of his vows. Hell yeah. Oh, that does remind me. I need to, um... Protector of the I need to check my paladin's vow. So now, let's see. Win a siege battle in the desert or jungle climate region. Okay. Put him on. Win a battle at sea. Or defeat a legendary lord or, 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 of ogre kingdoms, beastmen, greenskins, or dark elves. 
Um... Hmm. Desert or jungle? We're not near any desert or jungle. I think the one at C would be... Beastmen wouldn't be that bad either, but it has to be a legendary lord of them. Um... Beastmen, Lord of Kingdoms, Greenskins, and Dark Elves. I think winning a battle at sea will be easier. Let's do that. So I'll be trying to win a battle at sea, but yeah, let me just double check everyone's vows. Um, yes, because I can do the vow for my um, my my, uh, my damsel here. So for her, it's the same thing. So with Leonker. We just don't have... I think the Battle at Sea one's the best. Like, If I go after Shadowgrave, though, I could get this one. Leon Kerr would be somebody I'd try and go after Shadowgrave with. I think I'll have him get, get that one. So let's have you be pledged to protect. So you have to try and defeat a Legendary Lord. Um, yep, and I did forget to put it in on this Paladin, too. So, let's see. Rank up, rank up five times the easy one for you to get. That. So you're I'm almost done with this one. Yes. You've now pledged for another one. Yes. You also need to pledge. So I, again, since you guys, I'm gonna give you guys a similar ones. So I'm gonna give you guys all, hey, win battles at sea. So I'll have to like try and send you guys out to sea. If I find a treasure, I think that will count. Um, gotcha can feel don't have them. King Arthur, oh, what vows do you have? Oh, you're almost done. So you have a Grail vow. So. <sighs> Defeat the legendary lord of Skaven Demons. Uh, kill five enemy lords in battle, or raise five major settlements. Um, Skaven and Warriors of Chaos are is a lot easier for us to deal with. Um, although I think just defeating five lords, yeah, kill five enemy lords in battle. I think that we'll go with that one, because that will give you. Make it so you're uh, you're not you'll be immortal, which would be great. You also get uh, magical attacks as well. And the paladin. I need you again. Do the rank up while rank up five times while we're being pledged. Okay, because I need need to remember to do that with all of you guys. But yeah. So the red duke there, he's gonna be running away. You guys will keep trying to push on in. Basically, some of you guys will trigger that stuff just from, like, defeating lords around here. And then I think if I find, yeah, like, treasures... Like, yeah, look at that. There's, like, a treasure here, a treasure here. If I fight a battle um, at, at sea with those, you that will count. So, that should be okay. So, you keep trying to group up with everybody else. And then, Leonker. Um... Who's Moose Lone up for? Just me. Um... I want to take that army out. Not, I'm not able to actually get up to them this turn. Let's chase them. I no, I, I want to chase I them. Because the I don't want these guys to get away. Then we can turn back around and go up this way. Is that attached to this line? Yeah, it is. So I actually will want to colonize that area. Um, for right now, though, let me just have you get... Holy shit. Yeah, there's somebody around here that's burning things. So... So he's either down there. Yeah, where's all that chaos corruption coming from? I feel like Shadow has gotta be around there, possibly. Okay, well let's try and get the public order. Try and get the public order around there. And then back up here. You guys can go to this area, and I don't think I have enough money for anything else. No, I do. Uh, I can at least upgrade the farm around here. Oh yeah, that's a oh god, yeah, I, I can see why the our farming income didn't get so high. I love it. Yeah, so let's have you grab that. And then three more turns until I confederate you guys. Can't wait for that. I'm not giving you guys a piece. I, I'm not, guys. At this point, oh um, yeah, Shadow Grave is around there. No, King Arthur! Shit! Um, will you let me get away? They did, okay. Oh boy. Okay, I almost lost him. I almost lost King Arthur. Um. I'm so killing them with Lancar. I also found Shadowgrave, so Shadowgrave is the reason why there's a lot of chaos corruption around there. So that's why he's still alive. Um, yeah, so that army's down around there. Oh, I got across the river. The light of the lady. Okay, well, I can almost get to you. Shadowgrave's down there. So if that's the case, then... Because um, yeah, I had it so... Which one of you did I put that vow on? 
So win a battle at sea. I think it was King Arthur. No, kill five enemies. Five times pledge. Valiant Lord. No. Uh... Champion of the lady. No, it's yours. No, well, yeah, Beastman. So we will want to go kill Shadowgrave uh, down there with um, Landcar at some point. But for right now, uh, I need to keep trying to get over to this army. Keep trying to go over there. King Arthur, keep trying to regroup with these guys. Red Duke is still trying to run. Do I have enough movement to catch up with them? And just finish them off? Let's see. As I'm, I'm pretty okay with us just finishing them off with an auto resolve if we can reach him. Oh, we can't. So we can't reach him this Lord turn. That's Hill. okay. Yeah, you guys keep making your way over there. King My Arthur is still trying to seat. group up with you guys. Building-wise, um, I think I'll upgrade this now. We're going to want to make sure we have a good defense there at some point, too, as well. Let's keep trying to get the more growth around here. And that's all we can do for that turn. Speak. Let's see. What would you like now to talk about, Bordelow? I'm assuming uh, non-aggression pact? Yeah, I'm gladly going to accept that. Oh, but Donians we shall work with. That I am very okay with. So we'll keep trying to get them all to like me. And uh, slow but surely, I'm going to keep uh, confederating Bretonia over time slowly. Which is going to be I, uh, very interesting that I don't have to like actually conquer all of that land. Since so many of the Bretonian factions, I can just be like, hey, I'm here. You, you should work with me. Ah, oh, you guys are attacking us here. What's the terrain look like? I don't want to just give this to them. I'm going to try and fight this. I have some I have some spearmen, I have some archers. Wish those were fire archers. But we'll fight this. Do what we can. And uh if anything at all, if they take the territory, uh Gotrick and Felix and everybody else, they can make their way back down around here. Uh, hit this once again. So I don't think that's a bad thing. It's just terrain wise, I wish we would have had a bit more like <laughs> the Red Duke will be very difficult to kill with this army. Half of my army is almost peasants. But like Hey, no, 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 literally half my army is peasants, if you include the peasant archers. But hey, we might be able to do some damage. I might be able to kill off some of these units. And hopefully they'd maybe just only sack the area. That's my hope. We'll at least give these men uh, a proper send-off. Uh, let's try and have it so, if anything. I'm going to try and kind of hide over here. So we're going to be like over here. Peasants are going to be behind. And then peasant archers are going to be here. We're going to try and see... If you, brave peasants of Bretonia, can hold. Even though we have absolutely no cavalry, I need you to try and hold against these forces of undead. Take inspiration from Gotrick and Felix, and also uh, Valentin and Gottfried. They are the prime examples of what you should strive to live up for. Even though your peasants are more than likely going to die to all these undead. Alrighty, they're in range. Start trying to fire. I know we have the trees in between us, but hey, you might be able to do some good damage to them. He's trying to whittle them down a little bit before they get to us. We've at least got one side of my army is uh, protected by the uh, little building we've got around here. If we could take out the Black Knights, I'd be pretty happy, honestly. Because that's like one of their best units they've got in here. And so far, like you guys are doing some good damage to them. They're not advancing in just yet. This archer is yeah, going to be able to start unloading. Yeah, start trying to focus on elite units. Like, yeah, focus down the Grave Guard. Anything that's like a decent unit, try and focus them down. Because if we can at least fully kill units off, I know they have the possible rise from the dead thing, but hey, we might be able to properly have them uh, lose some units here. Because like right now, I don't have high hopes for you guys. I actually took out half the health of that uh, that one unit. You guys are trying to fly in with the bats. That's not what I want to see. Hey, here comes the Black Knights charging on in. Try and uh, shoot the uh, bats if you can there to try and help get them off of us. Infantry. Oh, man, your leadership's already faltering. Oh, God. That's also my captain, too. Oh, God, you guys didn't even do all that much. You tried. You most certainly tried. Yeah, those fell bats aren't dying. Peasants are now going to be the ones that are going to falter next. Oh, yeah, there we go. There they go. And the entire... Oh, my God. Yeah, they just terrified my entire army. We tried. We, we did some damage. We... Almost took out that uh, that one unit of cav, but that's that's okay. Uh, I, I was not expecting much from the the peasants, <laughs> so now we'll to have it so that what we'll do, uh, if they don't sack it, uh, Godric and Felix and everybody else will go back in here and keep pushing these guys back. It just depends on what they do. Um, I could see, because of my armies that are nearby, they would maybe decide to say, hey, we're going to fuck off, we're not going to deal with you. Um, but I could also see them just, hey, being very aggressive, 
taking the city, recruiting more stuff. We'll have to see what happens. Because right now, like, King Arthur's almost over there. Landcar's just trying to finish off that, like, one other army that they had over in the uh, in the east. So we have to take that force out. Then he can start making his way towards the coastline of uh, Musulon. I, I'm making sure that they die today. I think Musulon will die today. We just have to get everybody in position, basically. So, yeah, we lost that. And they sacked it. Okay. So we could keep the territory. And then I just need to try and make my way over to keep trying to pressure them with Godric and Felix. They might have actually went into Force March Dance to try and get further away from me. Honestly, I wouldn't mind that when I confederate these guys in uh, one more turn, if I get an army from them, that'd be great. Because then I can have them kind of help out around here as well. So, uh, the Red Duke. I don't see the Red Duke. You're over here. Okay, so we'll, are you going to run? Hey, you'll run. Okay, so we'll deal with you in a second. Let's see, do I have enough movement for this? I do not have enough movement for this. Okay, there's the red dude. Okay, you guys are at least grouped up over around here. Arthur's now joined up with you. Good. Now you don't have to worry about you. Uh, do try and repair this stuff. Try and repair that. And then I have a rank up for... The king Paladin here. Um, let's keep giving you uh, training, and then I want to do what some stuff up here to build more, because I can now, I am able to now get new troops, which I like. I might grab, I kind of want to grab some questing knights and throw them in my army, but I think we can hold off on that for right now, just so I can keep getting my economy up and running. So we want that, and then I want to get the, because yeah, I, I need to get this at some point, but now we're going to put that, going to put that here. Uh, we'll want to get this instead, because that will give me more grow income from the uh, the uh, farm, and then also gives us more growth in the area as well. So let's grab that. And I don't have enough money right now, um, but we have this fight right here. I might get enough money from doing this fight to be able to do something. So let's quickly slaughter these guys, and then I can have it so that what we'll do is uh, we can start making my way over westward now. I will have to be careful about the area that I took from you guys, like south of Muslim. Um, that might rebel, just because there's so much chaos corruption right there. So we, ha we have to deal with Shadow Reef at some point to get rid of that. Alrighty, so now let's have it. So again, Leonker and my Pegasus Knights. I'm gonna have you guys fly on in. You'll deal with the Lord initially. Uh, then we need to have it so my basic infantry, you guys can group up. You're just here for moral support. Uh, then the rest of my Cav, get you guys over here, you guys over here. And I'll probably have it so that we can have the Mounted Yeomen. Let's have you guys be in the back this time. So we'll have you guys way back there. Everybody but my infantry, guard mode off, and then start to plummet. So we got the mounted yeoman in the back. Lancur and everybody go. Let's go bully their general. And then my cav start charging on in around over here. And I'll just get you guys to move up a little bit right there. But there we go. So now we can move on in. Let me make sure maybe let's, let's focus on the cav a little bit more this time. Especially these guys, since you guys are regiment around. Leonker is going to fuck up that lord no matter what happens. You guys are charging into, like, what is it, some zombies? There's just zombies you guys are about to charge in and wreck, honestly. Those bats, those bats are trying to do something. We don't care about that. Here we go. Here's the charge. Go, my guys, go! Beautiful. Okay, keep pushing on in there. Good amount of damage across the board. Leonker versus the Lord. You don't have any bonus. Uh, I do have this one now, actually, so we can do that debuff around here. Um, that was just speed. Damage reduction on you is nice. And you don't have to worry about missiles right now, so you're good. Infantry, let's get you guys just a little bit closer. I should be able to have Thunderbolt, like, right there. Use Thunderbolt there. I'm gonna. Nah, I'm not using the, this uh, Vortex spell. Unless I want to actually hit my own guys. I think using the Comet will be fine, though. Like, ah, oh, it should be fine over here. Or maybe this spot instead, actually. Go hit that spot with a Comet. And then Mounted Yeoman. Let's get you guys a little bit closer to keep providing some fire support. Let's see, was she able to get that spell off? Yes, she was. I'm so sorry, little Skelly boys. You're about to say hello to God for me. God, I love that. Good amount of damage. Oh, it did do some damage to my guys. Uh, they're, yeah, they're crumbling. There you go. They're good. And there we go. Yeah, army losses already instantly. Beautiful. 
I do love how quickly we can just absolutely destroy armies. But there. Hank is now dead. You almost took out King Arthur, but hey, now we've been able to deal with you. Now we'll need to go turn our attention back around uh, over to Muslim. We'll have it so the land card is going to focus on the coast. And uh, now that we did, and thankfully since we didn't lose that one city, um, I can have it so that Felix, Scotcher Felix, and everybody, they'll be able to push along kind of the northern sections of Musulon. Because at least Musulon does think that those armies are weak. They consider them weak because they don't have a lot in them. So that works in my favor. Because we can have it so it's like, hey, those like five to six guys all group up, throw themselves at the Red Duke and their cities, and they'll be able to win. Because of the regen and the fact that like there's there's several lords there, um, I do love the fact that I don't pay increased upkeep cost as Bretonia for my armies, so I could actually just have a ton of those guys running around. Probably shouldn't. I want to have proper armies. Um, but let's grab the unit experience for you, and then you now have gained nice more chivalry return. I like that. And then uh, we've gained the blessings of the lady. Hell yeah. You seek okay. the lady's favor. Well, let me now make my way back over, because we'll basically go... You know, go down around this way. To victory. Go down around there. I almost want to destroy you right now, though, honestly. I can't put you into a fortified stance, but I think I should, actually. This chaos corruption is just so fucking high. Like, you'll be okay. Like, if we build this area up, you'll be fine. Um, it's just, like, I can probably leave this area to you guys. I could have it so the land curve makes its way down here to try and get rid of Shadowgrave. See, this is what I mean. They think my army is weak, so they think I'm going to get my ass kicked. No. <laughs> so, we will fight this ourselves. I'm going to have it so that what we need to do is just basically wait for the reinforcements. We're going to kick the uh, Red Duke's ass one more time. It does look like he does not have a defeat trait. I wish he did. Um, I wonder if they'll ever make him a proper true legendary lord at one point or not. I'd hope they would. But, uh, let's see. So, their reinforcements. Man, my armies are coming from all over the place. Um, I might actually go camp where the reinforcements are. Because right now, it depends on where everybody's reinforcing from. Um, like, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Uh, it, it, that information is really important for determining like how we're going to go about this fight. So, behind him is the garrison. Okay, we don't care about you. Um, their reinforce time is a little bit faster than me. You guys will be on the map sooner. So, I'm actually tempted to have a civil start off with killing you guys. Seeing as how I know I can have you guys group up, you'll get over here in time. Gotcha can will take a little bit longer, but I think that's okay. And then I'm just going to go into... Well, actually, no, I should maybe just kill the Red Duke. Wait, is he already crumbling? What the hell was that? Did he just miscast or something? He took damage at the start of the fight. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, no, thinking about it, I'm actually just going to have you guys just go for the Red Duke immediately. With this army being so small, let's just have you guys rush on in over here. Gotcha and Felix need to join on in as well. Come on, join in over there. And then we'll get you guys to group up with us. So right there. Gotcha and Felix needs to group on up. It'll take them a little bit longer to get over here. But at least you guys are here. It's trying to win that fight. What are you doing? Why are you going that way? You need to get over here. And you get you guys over here, help out against the Red Duke, who's already almost dead. You guys are struggling a little bit. Uh, hopefully you guys... I might have to... No, I need to get over there to help you guys out. Although, if you guys can, I'm not opposed to you guys also trying to take out that uh, Necromancer. I'll get these guys in range. Because the archers aren't going to be beneficial. The archers will be beneficial here for us. So that's not a bad thing. So let's have you guys... Yeah, Red Duke's almost dead. They did bring in their, uh, their cab, though, to the Black Knights. So I worry that's going to struggle a little bit more. But hey, my archers in range... Open fire. Give us some support. Let's get you guys to keep spamming your abilities. And then, for right now, Red Duke... Oh, man, you're low. He's running. Okay, if you can get out of there, I'm going to have you go join up with Godric and Felix. So that way, you guys can go try and go get some healing. Because he should recover. Infantry... Oh, they... Brought in some cuckoos over here? Okay. You go over here. So you get over here. You guys need to group up together. Um, I'll have you go over there. The Duke is making his way over there. I might actually have to say, yeah, you guys try and pull out of there too. We need to take out the Red Duke. The garrison's going to be fucking useless. This is just going to be just my heroes. At least that Necromancer's dead. Get out of there. 
I don't know you guys can do it. There we go. One of you's out. Come on, next one. There we go. Okay, let's get over. Need to go group up with Gotrick and Felix. Come on, group up, group up, group up. That way we can start healing you, and I can start providing some support to make sure you guys are going to be alive. Just misclick that one, but it's okay. Yeah, you guys just work together here. Oh, they just terrify him? It did, but he should be healing. Please tell me he's the one getting the healing. Yes, he is. So he's the one getting the healing over there. Yeah, you, you, you distract the Red Duke, I guess, guys. Try and distract him. Let me focus on the rest of this army for right now. Okay, so I've almost finished off this force. Let's get some close-ups here. If you guys have almost finished off this force right now, uh, the Red Duke uh, did destroy the garrison, but that's fine. Uh, we're not going to worry too much about that. He has almost hit his heal cap. So as soon as he gets over here, I think we'll actually be done with this army. And then we just need to focus all of my lords. Yeah, he's dismounted, so he's going to take a while to get over here. So these guys should all be dead by the time he gets over here. I do hate how some of us have hit heal cap. You just really do need to get some healing there. I think you're... Are you the one being targeted right now? You are not the one being targeted by the heal. It's actually going to these guys, which... That's okay. I just want to make sure you don't die there, my guys. Here's the Red Duke. He's finally over here. Hey, you guys are about to hit heal cap, so then the healing has to go to this guy once I get him back here. Hey, there he goes. Let's get you back over here. You should get some healing if you're the one nearby. Uh, I don't get any healing right now, but yep, there you go. Wish I'd been able to get a little bit more healing, but that's okay. So yeah, Garrison took some damage. That's fine. We were able to defeat the Red Duke once more. And uh, that should hopefully destroy those armies. That way we can just make my way over into their territory. I am in also my own land, so I will get replenishment during the end turn. So that is fine. We'll be able to just continue trying to pressure them. Keep trying to push on into their territory. And then... Uh, I feel like I can maybe ignore Shadowgrave for like right now. I really do want to make sure that we can... Like, I'm going to have to deal with Shadowgrave. For multiple reasons. The corruption and also the quest that we have to do. But also, I want to finish on Muslim. And at the moment right now, we're getting close to the end of the video for today. I think we, I just I need to turn um, Leonker back around. Send him back over this way to help out dealing with the uh, the undead. I, I shouldn't split my attention with them. The undead are not a faction you split your attention with because otherwise they're just going to keep popping, popping back up. So we need to focus all of my attention on them to finish them off once and for all. I really do just need to get like a caster in this army. If I get a caster to join... Oh, King Arthur's not even here yet still too. Um, yeah, grab the money because I make enough chivalry. It's fine. I can do that. And then you guys will get some replenishment. And then I think... Do you guys have enough movement to hit the nearest city? I hope you do. Because I want you guys to be able to take a, ter a city this turn. And then Lancur is just making his way back up there. Because, like, I can get away with... Ooh, there we go. I just got a talisman of preservation. Hell yeah. Um, let's see. So, yeah, we do want to form a confederation with you guys. So, we will do that. So, we'll demand fealty. And you guys. Stone. Oh, Shadowgrave is dead now. Oh. Hell yeah. Thank you for taking that out for me. I won't be able to get the, uh, the, the, the quest finished now, but that's okay. And my allies died. Hell yeah, you completed your quest, your vow. Nice. Let's see, yeah, we've been now able to confederate you guys. Um, does Anchor have a... Let's get that one. Let's have you get the Talisman of Preservation. So you get the Talisman of Preservation there. And then, of the realm. let's see, you've got a rank up for your skills. So just get some more defense, since you're not in an army with units. Very well, if you uh, get some more armor here, and then Foe Seeker. And then, um... Very well. For the lady. So, who... Devotee okay, you... The I didn't even give you one. Um, and even for the most part, a lot of these I'm just going to give you the win battle at C1. I'm not using you guys, but I'll do that for you guys. Um, same thing, win battle at C. My strength and wisdom are yours. Uh, when about to see. I, again, I just need to, like, go do some quests and try and, like, scout out around the sea. My reputation again, proceeds. go win battle at sea. The ladies and then... Chosen. Yeah, that's all of you guys. Okay. So, Leonker. I'm gonna first have you push into, uh, well, let's see. Can I move across this turn? Because I want to get over here. Making my eh? way. Not on the cross. It's not on the cross. Okay, that's fine. I should get a replenishment, so I just think I should be okay. So now what we want to do is... Oh, this takes one turn. Okay, yeah, let's grab that. It takes one turn. just gives me a bunch of chivalry. I'm going to have to hold off on getting this anyways. I don't have enough chivalry. To... Oh, no, I do. Just barely. 
back up here. Let's see. So, wow, you guys have three full stack armies around here. Holy shit. Um, My magic is yours. We have met before. I'm gonna consolidate Lord these the into one army. The of the lady. Most of these are peasants. So I'm gonna get rid of you guys. Your um. Get rid of you. Blessings Good of the lady you. be upon you. My strength um, and wisdom are yours. Get rid of all of you. We and then, I see let's see, level three, level two. Do you know three. who I am? Uh, let's merge this into this yes, army here. So let's uh, let's make you into the army. So give all of this, and let's we'll have you. <laughs> hey, go join the army down here. Leaving. Why not? So yeah, you'll be making your way down around there. Uh, I do not have uh, it shall be so. I do have military it access yet, yet though. So let's have you go there. Um. He's got one too many units. There we go. So there we go, and then let's disband you for right now. Protector of the realm. So we got another army here. Um, and let me double check and see. So what? I'm not able to get military access with them right now. I want military access with their pawns. Who calls? I will try and at least do this. Get some non-aggression packs with you guys. Get some money from that. The nation called. Your king sends uh, right the as well. Yes. Uh, no. Oh, and yes. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, well, we at least now have another army, which I basically just need to have make its way down around here and join it up. Because Talbert. Basically, I will just start that research, yeah, as soon as I can. So as soon as we can get this, that will allow me to confederate um, Rapunz. But I'll have it so that you My guys for right now. Uh, let's kind of move forward with encampment stance, basically. So encampment stance. Encampment stance. And just keep bringing everybody forward. Because we're going to go for this city first. Yeah, so right there, there. You move a little bit closer. You move a little bit closer. Okay. So that's all of you guys. Um, Lan Kerr will go for Martel. You guys will go for... Uh, Sig Marsham, Marsheim. And then if I confederate uh, Rapunz quickly enough, I can have it so that you guys will just make your way down around here. Uh, I do need to kind of change how you guys have been building some of this stuff, because some of you are idiots. Um, that's fine. This is fine. Um, that's fine. And that's fine. So this is okay all around here. I am going to have you guys get the... Let's see, quarter wise here. You're good. Let's see if you get the research rate. Get the research rate around there. You're still scouting. So you're still scouting down around here. Where it looks like you guys have expanded really, really far down here, actually. God, that's just... I love how big this fucking map feels. I love it. It would kind of be nice if, like, uh, there was a version of this recreated for the Warhammer 2 map. That'd be kind of really cool, I'd say. Um, let's build you and you. Got another 2,000 left. I will grab uh, this... Let's see. So there we go. A little bit more chivalry for us. Uh, I will have us now start this. So in about four turns, we will be able to confederate the repellents. Um, let's see. So for right now, I will have us. So yeah, Lanker, you need to keep making your way over here because I want you to go over to this area. You get a little bit of replenishment there. Um, but hey, and now we should be able to... Let's see. Very well, I love if you insist. This. So let's have you be the oh, one that Latonia. starts sieging it. You need that siege for just a second, and then let's bring everybody else in. And this will be a pretty quick battle with all of these lords. So, like, right. And, yeah. Just gonna move you guys in. There, there, and there. And then let's have you lead the assault. Basically, we're just gonna need this to be able to try and uh, recover some health on some of my units. Because now that we have King Arthur here as well. Uh, this is going to be a wash. Uh, they don't have anything that can stop me. I, I do love how I've been able to just have like this army of uh, single entities go around as Bretonia. I love this so far. It's just like my my little raid party. It remind, I'm a huge fan of D&D. It's basically like I'm just saying an adventuring party going around clearing undead. Like that's literally what we are. We got our, uh, got our, our dwarf uh, barbarian. We got our human bard. And then we have the ridiculous number of paladins. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no, no. My basic lords would be uh, fighters, and then the paladins are actual paladins. So, like, hey, we got a we got a balanced party for the most part. We got some heals. We got some uh, good damage and damage reduction. Right, it's, it's good to see. So, we just need to wait for everybody else to get on that. Uh, actually, I don't even think we need to, honestly. Yeah, probably should, just in case, just make sure you can say get some more health back. Like, this is not even fair now, especially to the fact that, like, one of my lords is now flying as well. Like, hey, you guys charge on in here, get Godric and Felix in. We just need to get them to start blobbing up on us, and we can start destroying these guys. So, come on, guys. Let's go. You versus my, uh, my six, my party of six members here. Where you guys will basically just be getting some free heals on this guy. He should be the one being healed, right? Yep, he is the one being healed. There you go. Yeah, so he's the one being healed. You guys are then just slowly going to be slaughtering this army. I'm going to be sad once Gotrick and Felix leave, though, as this army is not going to work nearly as well without them. Seeing as how it's only working so well right now, because I have the regen. If I can get more regen onto these lords, like, that would be great. But for right now, that's the only reason why this does amazingly. Also, it's because we're fighting undead. So, like, undead are pretty weak and for the most part, so it's really easy for us to do a lot of damage with just my lords. And there we go. So now, that is another city for us. Lancur will be over here uh, relatively soon so that he can join on in and start taking more of the land from Muslan. Uh, they should only have three more cities. So they've got the uh, the city I'm going to have uh, Lancur go for. Then they have the one other uh, city on the mainland is west of that. And then they have the island. The island will be the last one we go for. And I'll have it so that... Uh, might send these guys. Because I do want to try and make sure that we can try and do that uh, fight a battle at sea. Which means I'll need to have you guys try and go uh, investigate those treasures that I saw. And uh, that are nearby that island. And that should maybe give us a battle we can do at sea. Um, otherwise I know there is that like rogue army uh, up north I could go kill. And that would technically be a battle at sea. We'll have to see. Um, eventually we'll be able to complete the quest. So I'm not going to be worrying too much about that right now at least. Um, but there is one more city. Let's occupy this. So occupy that. And then let's have so now another hey, there we go. Godfrey's now got a Royal Pegasus as well. Hell yeah. Uh both of these I want to destroy. I don't want those there. And then I do have let's see, so let's get you more melee defense. Noble. You can more get some more defense there. Very well. Arthur. Let's get you some more health as well. And there we go. So that's that city. There's just these two more. So basically what I can have happen is Lancur can almost hit that next turn. I can have you guys start making your way over here. Um, it's next turn. And then once you take that city, I'll have you guys go down here and be the ones that take this city for us. Let's see. I'm going to say non-aggression pact. I'll gladly accept that. Because now that uh, I've been able to get some more confederations. I'm not opposed to free money from all of you guys. Let's see. So I'm going to have you guys keep scouting around here. Because I think this is this has got to be like... Uh, I think Deathmaster or um, Ikit are, are down here. So it's got to be one of those two. Uh, Lancur. Um, let's see, they're kind of actually going around the side there. Let's see, you're fully healthed up, so I'm not going to worry about making my way over. So it's, we'll be able to hit Martell next turn. All of you guys... Start trying to make my way... Oh, oh actually... Oh, perfect. Thank you, Rapunz. Uh I will actually then have you guys... Let's see, so we want to go down here. So, let's go over this way. Striking so, we'll have you guys just start trying to make your way over the to the island immediately. Also, I might be able to get that fight a battle at sea if I can fight this little force. So, let's keep trying to make you guys move up. How long do I have you guys for? Oh, six turns. I'm going to be so sad when you guys leave. Gosh, I can feel it. Because you've really allowed me to be aggressive as hell. Um, let's see. I'm going to have you do that. Got a little bit more money. You can get me another farm. And then also probably we'll have to get the growth there at some point as well. I need more uh, more public order as well, but and it's good for right now. Um, three turns, I will then have it so we'll be then confederating Rapons. After that, I think I'm going to start then focusing really more on like my economic research. Because at this point, um, well, I could confederate you guys next after that. Where are they? Oh, I only take me three turns. Ooh. Yeah? 
because I know I'm gonna have to like fight stuff down around here. Like that's all Skaven around there. So we will probably have that be like the main war we're going into next after we finish off the forces of Muslim. Yeah, because I just can't wait to just see like when I have all of this all under my control. It's gonna look beautiful. Um, you're actually attacking them for me right now. Okay. Well, I'm, again, I'm about to confederate Rapunzel. So I don't care what happens there. Um, I can try and have it so. Let's see, Landcar could hit this army. Actually, are they, they're gonna run, aren't they? Yeah, they're gonna run. Now, do you guys have enough movement to hit him? No. Okay. I'm gonna try and move you guys down this way, though. Because I do want to have you guys be trying to do what you can around here. And I need to get that naval fight. There we go. So you guys all go there. Lancur, I'm just gonna have you just start going straight towards their island. Um, try not touch this. So go around this way. But we're just going to start training you straight for the Silent Island. And then, hey, you guys should very easily be able to take that. If you don't, I can turn Lancur back around. Um, but we'll try that. Talbert, you're still trying to make your way down around here. I'm going to get a little bit of public order penalty, or just a diplomatic penalty with Rapons for a turn, but that's fine. I don't need to worry too much about that. Uh, same with you. Keep making your way down around this way as well. Building-wise, though, um, let's have you get me more money here from that and then you guys need uh let's get the public order building around here and that's all the money i've got really right now yeah no I, I don't have enough to get the thing i want here which costs 1200 let's see what the dwarves want to talk about so far you guys like me yeah I'll, I'll gladly trade with you at the moment you're just uh, currently fighting some undead which i can definitely get behind seeing as how right now i've been focusing on muslon for so long now at this point um do they lose their city is the question because they lost that city on the mainland. Um, I'm actually pretty close to my short victory conditions now. Because I know they're one of my short victory conditions. And I think with me confederating Rapunz, I might actually hit my short victory conditions. Uh, you guys have confederated there. I confederate them next turn. Uh, they did take that. So they did take that. You guys here, again, I want you to be the ones to deal with this army. Because you guys actually have all those quest battles to do so. So Godric does not have enough movement. Can you get a bit closer? Protector of the realm. I don't even think you guys need Godric and Felix here for their regen. Yeah, let's have... Let's ignore favor. this thing. Farewell. And then keep sailing towards the island. The lady and so you keep sailing towards the island. And Blessings then I can have you guys... You. Oh, am I not able to get everybody over? My strength and I can get two of you. Across the water. Yeah, is that enough with just the two of you? Awaits. Oh, it's, it's four units. Yeah, King Arthur and uh, Valentine can take care of this force. So you guys can deal with them. That's fine. Um, that will at least finish some of your quest battles. Uh, they're, they're, they're not the quest battles, the uh, the vows. We'll then have to try and have it, so we'll go investigate that uh, treasure in the ocean. And uh, see if that's going to be enough to try and get you guys to uh, complete your vows. I'm hoping it will be a battle. We can then get those vows completed. And... Uh, we just have to do like one or two more battles and I will then be done with the forces of Mushalan. So they'll be dead. And uh, I'm just going to have to... I, I'm just slowly making my way down south into Bretonia. Um, and I will basically be... I wonder if I'm going to into, push into Astalia. Because I know I'm going to be uniting all of the Bretonians. That's something I'm desperately... I'm definitely going to be doing. And then I know I need to have it so that I want to... Like we need like 70 regions to complete my campaign. Um... So we'll have to figure out where we're going to go with that. For right now, though, I'll just wait. Let's wait until my other guy gets on the map, and then we'll uh, start advancing. I do have some casting, which I don't appreciate. But let's get on in here. Fuck up the Necromancer. Just knock him, kick him down while he's down. Because once he's dead, the rest of this army is not going to be that difficult. I do worry about the fact that we don't have regen now. Oh, come on. You should be able to win that fight. I can't another fight. Oh, yeah. Helm Discord. Yeah, don't forget about that. Are you losing to a fucking Necromancer? You better not be losing to a Necromancer. I'll try and charge through these guys just to get over there a little bit more. So once you both start hitting him, he'll die. Oh, they're doing a lot more damage than I like. Focus on the uh, focus on the army a little bit more. At least just to whittle them down a little bit here. Although if I don't hit him again, he's gonna start re regening their health. So keep hitting these guys. Because that casting's actually doing a lot. I'm just kind of bogged down and I can't get out of melee combat. I'm doing more damage than he's healing, though, which is good. Let's see, is there a way to 
trying it out if here's the question. At least he seems to be out of Winds of Magic. I need to just keep spamming the Helm of Discord that this guy's got. That's really helping us get through these guys. Their binding is starting to weaken. Without him having any more casting abilities, at least, that should be fine. Although I do hate that he's just getting some free fucking ca uh, healing on these guys. Yep, the intensity is pretty much maxed out for Master of the Dead right now. So they are getting healing back. But we are winning the fight here. Okay, so you finally came back. I'm going to have you hit him. So that at least resets his crap. I'm just going to keep, like, uh, charging into him and cycle charging. Because right now, I every time I hit... Oh, we technically lost! No! God damn it. Ah, oh, not what I wanted. It's the fact that you got your healing off, and somehow my guy was losing in melee to a fucking necromancer. How, my dude? That's fine. We'll get replenishment, and we'll finish him off next turn. But right now, it's not that important. It was just more so like, hey, can we can we win the battle, get that vow completed? Sadly, no. So that's okay. So you guys shouldn't be able to get troops uh, while you're at sea. You should not be able to raise dead at sea, not on your, your uh, vampire coast. So what we'll do is we'll just keep focusing on taking their last city for right now. I gather you guys back up with the rest of my forces. Um, technically, I think you guys will get replenishment while we're at sea around here, because I think we are in technically my own territory, kind of. It's at least connected to my territory, so you guys should get some replenishment. It's just, why did you have to fail against the Necromancer in melee combat? Like, you should have won against a Necromancer in melee combat, man. Especially with how many boosts I've been giving you. Hey, you at least took out one unit. Let's see. You're technically, you are technically not recovering right now. Okay, just make sure you're next to Godric and Felix, and as long as you're around them, you're fine. Let me guess. More non-aggression packs? Uh, yep. No, you didn't give me money, though. Hmm. I'm sad about that. That's okay. Uh, at least now, at this point in time, uh, once this turn comes around, I will now be able to confederate with Fox. So, yes, demand fealty from the Heraldry of Linus. Beautiful. I now have a... Oh, you guys actually confederated them now. Interesting. Since they're ready for duty. Let's see now. Where is... Yeah, province secured. God, I secured so many areas. Um, Beautiful. Just look at that now. We control all of this. Uh, where's her pawns herself, though, is the question. Protector so, of the realm. <laughs> this army I'm not keeping. Uh, let me get rid of you. Let's see, Your this army here. Yeah, where's her pawns? Is he, like, wounded or something? Let's see. Uh, no, she is... Oh, she was, uh, she's actually right next to Lancar. Um, okay, what did she get for bonuses Ready. for... Right now. Let's see. So, that's not bad for her to grab. Here's people. So she actually gives more inf uh, benefits for the infantry. Ward save. Not bad. That doesn't matter for us, really. Um, that's nice. She's passive ability, melee defense. Okay, so I don't have to actually reset here. Uh, reset her. Uh, her stuff is not bad. I will actually keep her as she is. She has also finished all of her vows. Um, does she have her? She does have her sword. Yep. So, interesting. Okay, I'll leave her army as it is. I'm going to get rid of, uh, I think... I don't think I need you right now. I could have you join on in with these guys. I kind of want you to. Um, this army... Oh, man. Oh. There's some questing knights there. Okay, so... That's what we're going to do. I'm going to get rid of all these guys. I'm get rid of these guys. I see um, I'm gonna have it so that okay, Leon Kerr can be the one that deals with uh, you. Oh, can you not get there this turn? No, you can. Okay, so you can do that. We can get rid of the red dude. And then what I want to do is my army. I'm actually gonna get rid of these guys, and uh, I will have it so. Is how many caviars were in there? Oh, there's a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna basically have it so like this army here. Uh, you come down this way. You're going to be giving troops to me and Rapunz. So Rapunz, I'm going to switch out um, some of her stuff. I will actually have her have foot squares. I actually think I will. So since she bon gives bonuses to infantry, I will actually have her use some of them. Um, then I have it so the word. Oh, that's her. Le she has a legendary pound. Oh, that's what they were talking about, Henry. Um, so I'll be keeping you. He's a legendary pound. Does he have a unique line? No, but you can get a fucking hippogriff. You can get a hippogriff at some point. Legendary Paladin. What's different about him? Interesting. Okay. Um, but yeah, no. So basically, I'll have it so, like, I'm just going to give her... 
Because doesn't she give bonuses to heroes as well? So, for all peasants, ability, halo, main wrath, explosion. I guess the one she gave stuff for embedded heroes as well. Does not look like it, but I will still have it so that basically I'll get rid of like most of these units here. And uh, I'll have it so that she'll take some of these. She'll take these heroes and have her give these two heroes to them. I'm going to put all of these Knights of the Realm into my army. And then basically, like, yeah, I like that. Those are some really good armies uh, that we'll have set up here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of you. I don't need you right now. This army. I actually think I might get rid of this. No, I think I can give some of these units over to her pawns. Yeah. Yeah, so then keep bringing Talbert over here. Hyas. You guys now. Let's go here. Here. I'll get you guys all right next to this thing. And then see if you guys get me a battle. Yeah, so we have to defeat a foe in battle. And if we do that, though, that should get you guys your vows. Oh, it's just you alone. Damn. You don't get to have the reinforcements. Ah. Oh. as you have a crab. Uh, I don't... Gotcha and Felix are about to be dead and are about to leave us anyways. I'm gonna just auto-resolve it. I'm sorry, Gotcha and Felix. For the great death. I'm sorry, but you guys are about to leave us in, like, um, three turns. Not what I wanted. Oh, yeah, and you guys do get these traits. I forgot about that. Yeah, we'll have it so that, um... My strength that gotcha and Felix will be leaving course. us. I'm gonna have you guys, like, get back on land. So you guys can actually get some recovery. So you guys all group up back over here. I'm having like a lot of lords to figure out where the hell they're all going. Like, I'm. it seems like I might just be having more of you just all follow each other around and help each other out. But for right now, though, let's, uh, let's finish this video off for today with this battle right here. Where we're going to finish off the Red Duke. Then, uh, in the next video, I will have to start figuring out the stuff with her pawns. Uh, basically, I want to make sure that her and Kur uh, Leon Kerr for sure have two armies for themselves. Uh, two full stack armies. I think basically we'll grab, like, all the other heroes and everybody else and lords together into the army that would be following around Godric and Felix when they come back. And then I think we need to keep making my way down south and start going after, uh, I think, Clan Pestilence. Um, Clan Pestilence, I'd say, next so that we can try and uh, keep making my way down south into Bretonia. But yeah, this battle should not be that bad. And I can't wait to replace and get some upgrades on some of these units. So let's get you guys grouped up. 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 Guys grouped up. And now let's get my yeoman over there. You guys over here. I will be. It'll be kind of nice when I don't have to worry about my infantry who don't do anything anyways. So that's good. Let's get you guys to group here, here, and then let's start to brum it. Start to battle. Flyers, please go fuck up the the Red Duke. And then let's get my calf to just charge on in here. Mounted yeoman, get behind them. And then my infantry, just kind of slowly make your way forward. Almost would kind of be interesting that, like, with those lords that I have that are just all mounted, I can't remember if they all get Hippogriff Knights or if it's just the Pegasus. But if we could have it so that, like, I have an army of just those lords and just have a bunch of Pegasus Knights with them, that wouldn't be bad. But yeah, focus on the Red Duke here. Don't forget to use your debuffs that you've got. So, do that. Start fucking up him. Uh, you... Uh, those hounds actually got in a melee with you. So, get out of there. Let's get you guys to kind of pull back a little bit. Get another cycle charge on in if you can. So get over there, get over there. You guys keep making your way forward. I do see a big ass blob here, so let's send these guys to good. Give the let's have to release the comet down here. Lanker's doing some pretty good damage to you guys. Uh, Lanker, please don't stand on top of the comet that is about to come down and say hello to these guys. Oh my god, the frame rate dropped. Christ. It's beautiful, though. Good amount of damage. Let's see. Let's keep getting some magic cast around there. Bats are attacking her. Uh, she's actually winning against the bats. Get you guys to help out against the bats as well. Let's see. You guys. We're supposed to keep backing off. Same with you for right now. Mounted Yeoman. Those dogs don't want to leave us alone.
Okay, Red Duke is down once more. Beautiful. So let's now get uh, let's see, get another common over here. That'll be the rest of you guys. Still trying to have my Knights of the Realm trying to regroup you guys a little bit since you guys are taking some good damage. Let's see, once this comet hits, there we go. Actually, finish off all of those guys. Frame rate uh, is uh, confirmed. Yes. Let's get uh, all of you here. Mount Yeoman. And get over here to the side as well. Get over there. That's the realm are doing well on this side. I could, could use some support. I think if we just give some casts over around here, that'll be enough. So you guys can go to the Skeleton Warriors. Mount Yeoman. Right here. All of you can help break this section. And then I can get some more casts over here. To support the Knights of the Realm. Look how much damage you guys have been taking. But they just hit army losses there, so it doesn't matter. Beautiful. So, the forces of Musulon have now been defeated. Love to see that. Good amount of damage on most of my units. Yeah, Caster did most of the damage. And this will be the last battle that you guys are going to be here. The the peasant mob, the champion, the people's champion. Uh, I will have you go into a different army. Uh, I will get rid of the rest of these units here. These Benesprimian men-at-arms. I know the Mounted Yeoman I'm just going to be getting rid of completely. Um, I think I'll basically have it so... I'll just disband those guys. They have a lot of experience, but... I, I, I want the Knights of the Realm and all those other units that were in that uh, army that Rapunz had. Um, or one of her armies was. Uh, so I think that'll be good. But hey, we've now been able to at least get rid of Musulon. I wonder if that's actually going to be my short victory conditions. I can't remember if I have 30 regions or not. It'd be kind of crazy if I already do, even though this is just the fourth video. Like, straight up. This campaign might be really short. Um, I feel like once we get really close to my long future conditions, that's when we're probably going to start trying to figure out who will play next in this. I've really been enjoying this mod. I, I really have. This this map is quite a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Because that means... Let's see. So I am currently... I actually just literally finished my short victory conditions. Holy shit. I am halfway done with the campaign then when I'm only on episode four. That is... Kind of crazy thing. There's still some more stuff to do. Because, like, I still need to be able to get uh, Max uh, out at 10,000 uh, 10, chivalry. Still need to do the final errant battle. But I'm already at half of my victory conditions. Which is really weird to think about. If there's, if I end up really completing my short and uh, long victory conditions really early, what do you guys... Uh, is there anything you guys specifically think I should do uh, to basically, like complete this campaign like is there anything that we think wait i need to do i'm, I'm curious about that uh, let's get you some moon maker By the you need to yeah keep getting the uh comet upgraded Champion you need some more defenses and then i think that'll be it for today with muslon destroyed yep there's confirmation we have now finished my short victory condition that will give me now new capacity more capacity for all my heroes which is great but no chosen. i'll be done for today hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys did let me know down in the comments down below i love what you guys have to say about this campaign any thoughts about it in general this is rampant i'll see you guys next time Champion you need of the more lady. defenses and then i think that'll be it for today